Christine from Aquo, and today I will show you what is new in the Aquo Flow app. The first change is visible once you start the app for the first time. Here you set up your user account by typing in your username. Now you have access to the new side menu. It holds three important parts. On the top you see who the active user is, and here you also add and manage your users. Click on the arrow on the side, select Add User and fill in the name of the user you want to add. Confirm by clicking OK. The new user is now added to your user list. You can also edit and delete users by long pressing on the name you want to edit. The second part of the side menu holds the list of surveys assigned to your device. This is where you select which survey you want to use to collect your data. We have also moved settings to this menu. So let's select a survey to collect our first data. We will start with a survey which does not have monitoring enabled. To create a new data point and collect your answers, click on the plus icon. Because this survey holds only one form, you directly see your first set of questions. Once you are done filling in the answers, press submit and OK. Now your new data point is shown in the list. You can see the name, ID, time of submission and status, which is also indicated by the icon. If you want to see the information you have submitted, simply click on the data point. This will open your submitted survey. The map tab shows where your data points are located, if location data is available. By opening the overflow icon, you can access the search, sort, and statistics functions. Let's select another survey. Click on the menu icon and select the survey from your survey list. Let's choose a survey with enabled monitoring. With Aquaflow's monitoring feature, you can create multiple forms under one survey, which together capture different aspects of a data point. One form is used to create a new data point, the registration form, and the other forms are used to add additional information to an existing data point. To start collecting the data, click on the plus icon. However, because this monitoring survey holds more than one form, you do not access one form directly, but you need to select the registration form from your list first. After submitting the registration form, the new data point is shown in the list. Now you can submit data for the monitoring forms by opening the data point. You can also check what has been submitted under a data point. All the form responses for the given data point are located in the data point under the history tab. The first form in the list is always the registration form. The following submitted forms, which are all monitoring forms, are ordered by submission date with the most recent submission at the top. The icons indicate the upload status of the form. To see the location of one specific data point on the map, click on the overflow icon within the data point and select View Map. To return to the list of data points, click on the top arrow. You can download all data points created under the survey from other devices and add new responses to them. Click on the overflow icon and select Sync. The data points are now shown in your list. Up until now, every time you reopened the app on your device, you had to select your user and the survey. Many times you simply wanted to continue working on the same survey, but the app did not remember that. Now, once you open the Flow app, it brings you to the survey you last worked on and the last user is automatically selected. We hope you find this new change is beneficial.